Hello students. So let us start with the back exercise of chapter work and energy. Now the first question is look at the activities listed below. Reason out whether or not work is done in the light of your understanding of the term work. There are several activities given here. You have to say in each activity whether work is done or work is not done as per your understanding of the term work. And you also have to reason out. It means you have to justify your answer. So students let us first see what is work done? What is the formula for work? What knowledge do we have about work? Now work W is equal to F into S where force F represents force and S is the displacement produced by that force. Okay. So we know that work is said to be done when force is applied on the body. It means F is not equal to zero and also the body gets displaced. It means displacement S is not equal to zero and you know that there is a third factor which is not visible here, which is not shown here, which is actually one and hence it is not shown in this formula that is cos theta. Okay, so the actual formula for W is W is F into S into cos theta. So W will be zero if any one factor is zero. F is zero or S is zero or cos theta is zero. What is theta? Smaller angle between force and displacement. So when theta is cos theta is zero, when theta is 90 degree. 90 degree means when force and displacement are perpendicular to each other. So we know that work is not zero or work is said to be done when force is applied on the body, displacement is produced in a direction other than the perpendicular direction to the force. It means work is said to be done when F is not zero, S is not zero and F is not perpendicular to S. So let us consider the first activity which they have given. Suma is swimming in a pond. You have to say whether work is done or not done. Remember students, they have not specified work done by Suma. They have just mentioned Suma is swimming in a pond in this case, whether work is done or work is not done. Okay. So we know that while swim swimming, water is, let us say, pushed in one direction. Let us say backward direction. If while swimming, Suma pushes the water in backward direction. So according to Newton's third law of motion, water will apply a force on the Suma in the forward direction. And so Soma swims in the forward direction or she gets displaced in the forward direction. So in this way, we know that force applied by Soma and displacement produced, they are in the opposite direction. But Soma is getting displaced because of the reaction force which is applied by water on her. So in any case, they have not asked work is done, which work done, work done by Soma or work done by the reaction force. But we know that work is done because as these conditions are here uh, fulfilled. Force is applied. Force is not equal to zero. Displacement is produced. S is not equal to zero. And force is not perpendicular to displacement. So while swimming, work is done by Suma as well as by the water. We can consider work done by Suma on water is positive. And work done by Suma on herself is negative. Or we can say work done by water on Suma is positive. Because water will push Suma in the forward direction only. So we can write a here answer. Yes work is done. As force is applied. Displacement is produced in the opposite direction. Because of the reaction of water. B part now. A donkey is carrying a load on its back. They have not mentioned whether the donkey is moving with load on his back or is at rest. So let us consider both the cases. Now, when the donkey is carrying a load on its back, let us first consider when the donkey is in motion. 
we know that force applied by donkey on the load is in the vertically upward direction we know to carry anything we have to apply a force against gravity and when he moves the displacement is in the perpendicular direction so we know that whenever force is perpendicular to displacement cos theta is cos 90 and that is zero so work done is zero so work done by donkey is zero as force applied by donkey on load is in upward direction and displacement produced is perpendicular to force when he moves. Even when the donkey just stands with load on its head, suppose a donkey is not moving, in that case work done is zero because we know there is no displacement. Hope it's clear to you. C part is a windmill is lifting water from a well. So in this case when windmill is lifting water from a well, windmill is applying force on the ground water in the vertically upward direction against force of gravity. And water also gets displaced in the upward direction. So we can write here force applied by windmill on water is in upward direction and displacement of water is also in upward direction. Yes, work is done by the windmill on water and we know that positive work is done. Now let us see the D part. D part is a green plant is carrying out photosynthesis. Okay, so we have to say whether the work is done or not done in this case. Green plant is carrying out photosynthesis. You know photosynthesis you must have started in all the classes in lower classes in science you must have started what it is. It is a process in which light energy is converted into chemical energy in the form of sugars. Okay. So it means plants prepare their food using solar energy using light energy and for that for this they use water and carbon dioxide and oxygen is also released in this process. We know the definition of photosynthesis but in this case we are just going to see overall whether work is done or not done. So we can see that there is we know that it is pretty uh, photosynthesis is, uh, takes place in the green part of the plant leaves generally. So no work is done as both force and displacement are zero. Remember students, here we are not going to see how the transportation of water takes place and when the transportation of water takes place, there is displacement of water but that in that depth we are not going to study. We are just going to see work done by green plant and we will see here work done is zero because there is no force applied by green plant and displacement of green plants is not there. Okay. So work done is zero. E part. An engine is pulling a train. You have to find out. You have to answer whether work is done or not done. Now we know that when engine pulls a train, it has to do work against force of friction. Okay. So yes, work is done by engine on the train as force applied by engine on the train and displacement are in the same direction. So when engine pulls a train, it is applying a force on a train in the direction in which the engine is moving and train also moves in the same direction. Remember in this case work is done by engine on the train with this work is done against the force of friction. Now F example. Food grains are getting dried in the sun. You have to find out, you have to say whether work is done in this case or not done. We know that when food grains are getting dried in the sun, so moisture is removed from the food grains or it is absorbed by, with the help of solar energy. So in this case, but food grains remain at rest, they do not move. So food grains are getting dried in the sun. We have to see whether work is done in this case or not. So we will write here that no work is done because food grains remain at rest and so displacement is zero. So no work is done. W is zero. Now last part of this question is 
A sail boat is moving due to wind energy. Whether work is done or not done, it is a very simple question. Yes, work is done by wind energy on sail boat as wind applies force on the sail boat and sail boat gets displaced in the same direction. So it is just like the same case. Okay. So here work is done by sail boat. Sorry, work is done by wind energy on sail boat. Okay. It is opposing the resistance between water and the surface of sail boat. Work has to be done against it. So I hope you have understood these questions and if any question is given, any uh, activity is given, you can easily justify your answer whether work is done or not done or sometimes even it is asked whether the work done is positive or negative. Okay, or no work done means zero work done. So you should be able to give answer for each activity when it is given and you should be able to justify your answer also if asked. So thank you students, we will continue with the back exercise in the next video.